<laughs> Come on, fish, please. Come on. Oh, oh, he nearly got it. Oh, he's oh, trying to get oh, it now, right on the oh, spot. Oh, 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 oh. It was a very, very relaxing start to this lateral line fishing mission. We weren't even on the road today until it was daylight. Met up with Gene from Strictly Land Based Fishing at the boat ramp, and this one is one of those Strictly Land Based Fishing missions. Last time we were fishing, we went fishing with Gene, and I think the boys quite enjoyed it, and I reckon Gene quite enjoyed it because we got another invite from Gene to go fishing again. And the first thing Gene said to me today when we got to the boat ramp was, third time lucky, boys. This will be the third time we've been fishing with Gene. And the first two missions have been good missions, of course. We've caught a feed and all the rest of it, but we are yet to experience some really, really good fishing that Gene sees a lot of. So hoping that today is exactly that. A little bit special on the fishing front. One thing I really like about fishing with Gene is that every single time we've gone fishing with the man, he's taken us to a different spot. And the spot that we are fishing today looks epic. Not only from a fishing standpoint, but also from a cameraman standpoint. We are surrounded by cliffs, and when the drone goes up, this place is gonna look very, very cool. And we are standing on what I can only describe as a ridge line, a ridge of rocks coming out off these cliffs where we can fish both sides of it. And uh, once the boys are fishing and everything's in play, in action, I'll get the drone up and hope to make this place look as beautiful as I reckon it looks, standing in it, on it, and around it. So yeah. Once again, on the rocks, trying to catch fish. Two days, got all day today, staying with my mate Joe Fish tonight, and then up again, meeting Gene and into it again tomorrow. As always, trying to catch feed, but right now it is midwinter, it is cold, and those big, gnarly snappers, moochers, should be in hard close to the rocks, right at our feet. And um, yeah, just hoping to stick a hook in one. It'll be good fun, if nothing else. And this episode of The Lateral Line is proudly brought to you by Suzuki Outboard Motors. Without the support from Suzuki, myself and Milan wouldn't have the time or the energy to create The Lateral Line. Chur chur, Suzuki. Big snapper time, Gene. Big snapper time, man. It's going to happen today. Yeah, today's the day. Today's the day, man. I like the sound of that. Left my life bait right on the boat. Woohoo! She's getting serious today, mate. We're snappers only. Yeah, you are. <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> I like the way you think, Milan. All my drinking water, though, eh? All your drinking water? <laughs> you didn't bring enough water for coffee. Well, I, kind of, I remembered that when I climbed off the rock. I was like... Whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on there, Gene? I had orders from Milan to get a donkey. Oi! <laughs> well, he was making coffee. Well, that looks like we've started. Not the big one he was hoping for, but... Yeah, like you said, we started, mate. It's snapper fishing. God, it's a beautiful backdrop. Ooh. I think it's calling, mate. It's definitely calling you, bro. Okay, hey, man. It's coffee time. I think it's a much smarter idea than leaving the coffee jug at home. See, I confused him. Doesn't know what to do. It's like, do I drink my coffee or do I... 
fishing's a little bit slow, but when you have hot coffee on the rocks, does that really matter? And the coffee tastes so much better when you're out in the wide open spaces. How does that work? Especially a nice bait. A nice looking bait. Up all that barely. Well, so far, the only bent rod that Milan's got is from Mother Bottom Fish. Milan runs a massive trace, like, on a snapper rod, like a 15 metre long, 60 pound piece of mono with an FG knot onto braid, so when you hook the bottom, you've got this big springer on the front of your braid, and 60 pound when tied right is grunty. Come on, Milan. <laughs> if it was a big fish, you'd break it off. <laughs> it's a good rig for snapper fishing, man. Oh, it's wicked, but it's not good for snags. Definitely not good for snags. We're not here to get snags, man. Here we go. This one will do it. Oh. <laughs> Oi, that was your FG knot. <laughs> that was a good whoosh. Looks like Milan might have been given up on the bait fishing for a little while. <laughs> Don't be like that. <laughs> Soft baiting's good, man. That was a hard snake bite. A few cowboys splashing around on the surface. Jean's gone kawaii hunting. This is looking serious, Jean. It is one of them days when um, soaking a big bait's about all you can do, eh? Those men get past all those little pickers, eh? Yeah. The big ones come in the, against the run of play, though, I reckon. What are you up to, Melan? Well, I gotta take my braid out from my last. You had to pull that hard that your braids cut into the reel. Mm. <laughs> I don't know if it's good, Nate. I. I don't think it's good, especially when you're poking a hook into your braid spool. Oh. Now it looks even worse. Sticking a knife in there. Oh. 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 Surgical work with the bait knife. <laughs> oh, that's deep down. Frickin' me. This is gonna be a disaster, I think. Teeth are back in action. No. That, oh, that looks... Oh, I can't even film that. <laughs> it looks terrible, Gene. Did you see that? Oh, <laughs> He's no, soaring man. at his spool. <laughs> That's looking a little bit more productive. Well, other than the odd little bite here and there, the fishing is really, really slow. And about now, on days like this, I would be forming time lapses to use in the editing process to paint the picture of not much happening. But today, the sky is bluebird day. Not a cloud in the sky, so there's no point even forming a time lapse. And I think about the best chance we have right now of catching a fish, any fish, is just to throw out a big bait and soak a big bait. The amount of times that we've had slow fishing like today and then out of nowhere you catch a massive snapper or a massive kingfish and that's all you catch for that day says that that is our best chance. So that right now is exactly what Milan has done. Cast a big bait out, let it soak, hope for the best. Today's video could be um, very, very short, but the weather tomorrow is outstanding. 
and Jean reckons we're going wide and going to go and land on an island. And at this time of year, Jean has also said that the fishing off the islands is the place to be. We couldn't get there today because we've got like a 20 knot offshore wind. We're perfectly sheltered here. But yeah, it was a bit wild to get out there today. But anyway, sitting on a rock, big smile on my face. What else could a man ask for, right? It's all good. Big fish! Big fish under the live bait! Come on, eat it! Come on! <laughs> I didn't even see it, I was too busy filming Gene. Oh, look at him! Oh, this is a reason oh, it's Gene, a good fish! A now, bro. Chuck your sluggo and Gina will eat that! He's fired up! Super fired up! <laughs> we got a big fish around! He looks good! Oh, he goes! Going, going for the pilly! He's going to come up for Gene Sluggo. Come on, eat it for me right there. <laughs> Just landed the drone and now he's going to eat it. i got to put the drone back up. Oh, there's a couple of fish there. Gene, come on, chuck something in there. Is he eating it? Here he comes to strike. Yep, 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 you do it, just go. Did you hook it? Nice! Man, I just landed. Oi! What happened? Oh, man. I just put the drone, landed the drone, and look up to see a big explosion on Milan's live bait. I'm putting the drone back up. Oh yeah, oh, there is two, big yep. one. Yep. Big kingy mainland. That's why these power lines freak it out. Yeah. There he is. He's on the light bike. Come on, eat it! Oh, come on. I don't know where to look. There's two live baits, one on Jean's bait. I don't know which one to film. It's on, it's on you one again, it comes up. I was trying to figure out why those liveys were all over the shot and I looked down and your one was buried in the weed. And I think he had his tail up and he was trying to eat Milan's cow out of the seaweed man. Oh, really? Yeah, he was tucked in here in the weed. I was like, what's that? There he is, it's on my live bait. It's on my live bait. Come on. Oh, he nearly got it. Oh, he's trying to get oh, it out right on the oh, side. Oh, come on, big fella. <laughs> it's a good kingy melee. There he is. Oh, oh eat it right at our feet. Come on, please. Can you bring him up to the surface melee? We need a handful of pillies because I reckon he'll eat a pillie and then he'll eat that. And then we just put a hook on one. Oh, melee's doing the whole pillie thing. Whoa, oh, whoa, that's a big one. It's running my car wide. Yeah, that's what we want. Eat it. <laughs> oh, there goes Minglands. You can't see that. That was a bigger one again, eh? Yeah, not bigger, ain't it? Live bait's going to get eaten sooner or later. Whoa, 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 two big fish. Come on, the dark fish. <laughs> Come on! Come on, eat that bait! Come eat on, something! Eat, 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 eat! Oh! God, look at how dark that one is! Come on, eat it! He's on the surface! Oh, <laughs> oh eat it! Oh, eat it! <laughs> Come on, fish, please! <laughs> Talk about teasing us.
Well, it ended up being a pretty full-on afternoon. We got this close, <laughs> this close to getting a big kingfish off the rocks. Milan had a live bait eaten, hooked the fish. Well, nearly hooked the fish, because if you pulled the hook, then did you really hook the fish? But anyway, pulled the hook, ended up on his ass. But um, again, that is an awesome day in my books. The boys are right now in pack-up mode. We are going to sort our gear out, get back on the boat. We don't think there's much point fishing until dark, considering we've put five burly bombs in the water and we've only managed to land one snapper that is of an edible standard, which is truly grateful. We are grateful, as always, to be eating fresh fish. And Milan visited Graham the Butcher on the way here, so it is steak and fresh fish, so dinner is going to be awesome. The weather right now is, as the forecast said, it was supposed to die out this afternoon. It has done just that. It is going to be an awesome ride back. And then tomorrow, again, if that weather forecast is right, it's going to be perfect. We are meeting Jean first thing tomorrow morning and then we're headed wide and going to land on an island. And Jean reckons that we've got a real good chance at some fish out there with the weather that we have. All going to plan. But myself and Jean were just discussing August and September and he's like, they're the worst months of the year for me when I go fishing. And I was like, dude, in August and September we never even used to go fishing because the fishing was so hard. But with the lateral line, we go fishing twice a month. Whatever happens, I make a show and put it on YouTube. And these days it doesn't really matter if we don't catch fish. But yeah, anyway, see you all tomorrow. And it starts again. <laughs> Here we go again. The boys are at it again. Hamish from NACL has heard that the boys seen a number of kingfish yesterday and they were hungry and trying to eat. So he downed the tools, got up early and has met the boys at the ramp with Jean this morning. And then Jean has couriered us out to a rock. And Jean's fished this rock a number of times and he reckons on its day, <laughs> it's really, really, really good. The weather forecast isn't quite as spectacular as it was when I looked at it the other day. We've got a little bit of swell and a little bit of wind, but the bay that Gene uses to get on and off the boat was perfectly sheltered flat as, so getting on and off the boat was a breeze. The boys are on the rocks, gear is getting prepped, and the excitement levels are high. Yesterday, I only seen one decent snapper landed, but it was beautiful eating last night. So was Graham's steaks. And yeah, just hoping and praying that we get to see some fish, take some fish home. But as always, <laughs> look around, man. This is awesome. Day two, first bait eaten. Trying to catch car wide, we've got so much current hipping straight past the front of the rock. Hopefully the kingies are gonna come and have an investigate like yesterday, but hopefully today we keep hooks in them. Beautiful yeah. day. Can you catch a fish today, man? Yeah, I need to start catching some fish. Struggle yeah. sometimes. <laughs> when you put the drone up, can you go underneath it and have a look at those birds? Oh, way over there, yeah. Well, that didn't take long. First cast. Was that your first cast, eh? What is it? Snapper. Snapper? On the top, mate. Right? I think that well. snapper's going to be very, very lucky that the boys didn't bring any ice. Uh -huh. <laughs> 
pretty happy with first cast, then, ain't it? First cast, if that's what we get, yeah, man. It's all good. What's your second cast going to be? Twice the size, mate. Twice the size. <laughs> to be here getting kingfish and I'm mucking around a snapper. <laughs> you can do that just before we go home if you want. <laughs> About five of them would be awesome. Like me lanes on the board. Just like that, man. Chuck a bait out, step quick snapper. As Nato said before, I think you're lucky it's early in the day because you're pretty yummy. Hey, me lane, I think there's something wrong with your rod, man. Yeah, I did it yesterday. Not very good, NATO. Looks like you got the right bait, Ling Lang. I'd like to get it in the water on one piece. There is a live bait about to hit the water. Now we're fishing, Gene. Now we're fishing, boy. <laughs> Big live bait under a balloon, eh? Can't ask for anything better. Bronzy? I reckon that one had teeth, mate. <laughs> Looks that way, doesn't it? He nearly got through my leader, too. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, at least he doesn't have a hook in him. That could be Milan's next bait, eh? Yeah, stick a hook in there, mate. Oh, like that. This has to be the most comfortable rocks that I've ever gone fishing on. It's awesome. Come on, Milan. Ooh, he had that look about him. What do you got? Good one? Looks pretty good. Under the Cravo. Cast out from where the Cravo was, eh? Nice work, Milan. We just had a Cravo come in and check in his Cravots and Milan threw a bait out underneath the boat as he went past. <laughs> Plucked that out. I like the table rocks around here. Yeah, the rocks are awesome here, eh? Big juju lips on that one. It's a good fish, man. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not very unhappy about that at all, Nato. <laughs> Earned my stripes today after yesterday. Yeah, it was a hard couple of days fishing, man. Hard few days pumping big baits into a burly trail. But they don't come easy, and that's what we love. Yep. And August is the hardest month of the year. 
I did it, Nino! We got one, man. Finally. Hamish is very good at catching different things. <laughs> Someone's got to <laughs> <laughs> The one for conformity, eh? Well, the fishing today is like it was yesterday. A little bit tough, but not as tough as yesterday. And I don't know how we've survived this long without bringing a catch bag onto the rocks full of ice to take fish home, but this trip today has made me realize that we really need to get a catch bag and carry ice with us because we've caught four legal snappers and we've had to let them go because if we kept them, they just wouldn't be as good as they should be and I don't think that is doing those fish justice. So yeah, catch bag needs to be obtained pretty quick. But anyway, the boys are about to move and we're gonna go and find somewhere else to fish and everything and anything that we catch there, we will be taking home. So that is definitely a good thing. But the weather today is perfect. Conditions, I'd like a little bit less swell. And we've been looking into the sun for most of today and most of yesterday, which isn't a bad thing, but if you're the cameraman, it just makes things a little bit tough come filming time. Well, things are really looking up for the boys. We thought on the way back we'd have a look at an island that we really, really wanted to fish, but didn't think we'd be able to with the swell. But Gene took one look at the island and he was like, nah man, I can get us on and off that, no problem at all. The island does have a few inhabitants and it looks like they spend a lot of time here going on the rocks and the smell of the place which will make things a little bit tough. NATO is going to be on the upwind side of the island for the entirety of this one because I went like 20 metres up the rock and started gagging. Hamish once again decided to um, entertain the boys. He somehow managed to kick his shoe off on the way off the boat and then um, <laughs> tried to retrieve his shoe with a fishing rod. And this island is an island that myself and Milan have wanted to land base fish for a very, very long time. We have both bought, caught kingies around the island, but we've never actually set foot on it. And this island, Brother Toby reckons, is an island that you could catch a marlin land base in New Zealand. So he is going to be jealous as right now. Fishing here, this is more a kingfish spot, I think, than a snapper spot. So maybe the whole food thing will get put on the back burner and the boys are going to try and catch a big kingfish. But I think if a big kingfish gets caught, you'll be lucky not to be coming home because the boys are very, very hungry. This could get really, really entertaining really fast. Bring it on. I reckon you've outdone yourself this time, Gene. Oh, mate. I've been wanting to land base this spot for a while, mate. I'm glad I got you fellas on here. Look at that. You pay me off a big rap. <laughs> Payment accepted. Mm -hmm. Oh, we can't even eat it, Neilan. <laughs> Neilan, what'd you throw those other ones back for? They were bigger than that one. They were way bigger than that one. They would have eaten that one. Oh well. Yet again, the last part of this fishing mission can be completely summed up by me saying that the boys didn't catch any more fish. We didn't even see any more fish. So instead, I'm gonna say a massive chur chur to Gene at Strictly Lamb Based Fishing. And I'm also gonna say that if you out there wanna go fishing with Gene and do what we did, although I'd be waiting until like mid-October, November, December before you give him a call, then you too can go fishing with Gene. His number will be on the screen right about now. Okay. Yeah. See you later, mate. Sure, brother.
Maybe we should take gene fishing next time. Yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe you use it, I'll leave my stuff behind, bro, and yeah. I'll come and see you, you and we'll go somewhere else, we, though. We'll go, yeah. we'll go somewhere. Yeah. We might get a fish there. The boys can take gene fishing. <laughs> yeah. Sounds good, man. I look forward to it. <laughs> nah, cool. Cheers, brothers. Cheers, cheers. Not only can you contact Gene and go on a strictly land-based fishing mission out from Fitianga just like we did, but you could also talk to him about possibly going to Rarotonga and targeting GTs at night time. Oh, oh bro, I got that on camera. Woohoo! This nighttime GT fishing seems to be a somewhat or relatively new thing, but Gene has done a fair bit of it, and it looks like he's having a fair bit of success also. So if that interests you, then yeah, get in contact with Gene, and you can go to Rarotonga and smash a big GT at nighttime. Alrighty, now I've got a bit of a mission on my hands. The boys brought themselves a brand new old truck a couple of months ago, and it has dropped the timing chain and the top of the motor had a fight with the bottom of the motor and nobody wins that fight, especially us. But have no fear because the boys have teamed up with Sam at Hybrid Street in Auckland and the boys at Hybrid Street are going to take a Toyota, a crashed Toyota Land Cruiser 105 series and give it a complete ground up rebuild. The Hybrid Street team have had this Land Cruiser on the back burner and they've just been waiting for the right time to um, bring it back to life. And I guess the boys being in need of a tow vehicle has given them that opportunity and they are going to completely ground up, rebuild this vehicle. Everything from mags and tires all the way through to rooftop tents and this Toyota Land Cruiser is going to be an absolute weapon when Hybrid Street are finished with it. And that vehicle is going to get used to tow our boat. I'm also going to pinch it to go on hunting missions. And I will make videos about that truck being built. Dedicated videos. I'll also have little updates within the lateral line. So... Cheer, cheer, my brothers and sisters. Thank you all so very, very much for watching The Lateral Line. Because if you weren't watching, Sam and the boys at Hybrid Street would never agree to team up with us. I will leave you with a build video from Milan, and we will see you all again very, very soon. The mood on site has changed. The hard slog over the past year has paid off and the pressure is lifting as the house is almost looking like a home. Eric the Tyler has all but finished. He has some grouting and silicon work to complete and the job is done. The team on the bathroom finishes have done an incredible job and I'm blown away with the end result. Now it's up to the world's best plumber to fit out the showers, toilets, baths and sinks Hamish is an extraordinary gentleman, one that only wants to help people. He is extremely observant and nothing ever goes to waste. If any household that he finds himself at is discarding old kitchens, sinks, carpets, fires, you name it, he collects it. Takes it home and stores said items for future opportunities to save the planet from filling up landfills. For my house, he acquired about 100 square metres of quality wool carpet and underlay. Sinks for the laundry, taps and fittings, he is a legend of a man. Believe it or not, the timber work is coming to an end. Andre has successfully hand nailed kilos and kilos of nails into place. And the walls and trim are looking amazing. The hallway was meant to resemble a street with dark ceilings to give height. And the lights will be attached to the walls to give an old school lighting to light the way for traversing the passage. James is under the pump at work, so he's doing night shift on the kitchen. Just to get the kitchen complete and finished, James gets a plan in that wonderful mind of his, and that image is what he wants to see completed. Time is not the compromise, and it takes what it takes to get the job done. I couldn't imagine a more beautiful kitchen. It's everything I would want, and James knew that. What a wonderful experience it is to be fully involved in the creation of a place for your family and friends to live out your life. 
thank you to the whole team. This episode of The Lateral Line is proudly brought to you by the Bowler Triangle, NATO's bow hunting YouTube channel. Without the Bowler Triangle, The Lateral Line would not exist. Hey, you little buckers, what are you doing, man? God, Jesus, you're just going to get shot, man. What are you doing, man? <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.